We're way behind schedule. This must be the Fatui camp that the merchant was talking about. From the looks of it, it used to be a Hilichurl camp. Who knows why the Fatui occupied it? Uh, looks pretty heavily guarded. How are we supposed to get in? Not by brute force, that's for sure. But that's not a problem. The terrain here gives us an advantage, and we haven't given away our position so far. Our enemy is in the light while we are in the shadows. Strategically, we have the upper hand. Hmm. I think we have three options available. Option one. Take the king and its checkmate. The Fatui's presence in Inazuma is weak at present. Nothing more than a few scattered remnants. If we strike from above and take down their leader first, the rest of them will be hard-pressed to put up a serious fight. Option two. Hit them where it hurts. Over there, for example. A store of gunpowder cakes. If we manage to discreetly set the gunpowder alight without alerting them, it would deal them a devastating blow. They'd be caught completely off guard. Both their morale and fighting capacity would be severely impaired. Option three. Use the environment against them. We're close to the sea here, so the air is very humid. I can gather the water vapor, you add a touch of lightning, and together, we can shock them into submission. Wow, that's our grand strategist. It's a lot to think about, though. Which option should we choose? That will depend on our assessment of our own abilities. A surprise attack from the air is the quickest solution, but requires superior combat skills. With an explosion, we could rapidly reduce their numbers without a protracted battle, but... Absolute stealth would be required during the operation, or we'd risk exposing ourselves. If we decide to take advantage of the environment, we should be prepared for a lengthy siege. <sighs> so, which is your preferred option? <laughs> There's the swordfish captain I know. Every confidence in your abilities. It's decided then. Let's fight this one together. I'm no warrior myself, but I can still provide some support. I certainly won't be dropping you into battle all by yourself. We should take them down as quickly as possible and retrieve the merchant's goods. Rebuild! For Rex Lapis! Gather! I will have order! Pew! Jumpy Dumpy Crow! Yes! Ah, the king is overthrown! Only the pawns remain! live or die on the strength of those executing them. Winning a battle takes a concerted effort from everyone involved. Victory never belongs to a single person. Now that you mention it, Paimon did make a pretty big contribution, huh? Hey! I must admit, 
I wasn't expecting to find the Fatui laying low in a Hilichurl camp. Presumably, they've been operating out of here in secret for quite some time. What's their objective? Are the soldiers right? Could they really be in collusion with the Tenryo Commission? Let's scour the camp for evidence. If the merchant's story is true, the inventory should be here. All right, time to take a look around. So these are the Fatui food supplies? They look a little past their best. Is this really all they had to eat? Hey, look here! Could these belong to the merchant? There's a lot of stuff. Some of it has the Terrio Commission emblem. Yep, this has got to be it. We should tell Kokumi right away and figure out the best way to deal with it. Kokumi! Kokumi! We found the merchant staff! Look! Hmm. I see. Oh, nothing. I just zoned out for a moment. Let's see here. Yes, these are the stolen goods, all right. Food, medicine, farming tools... All essential for post-war recovery. And he was probably stockpiling them until he could make a handsome profit. By contrast, it's doubtful that the Tenryo Commission has any need of these items. So the idea that he was supplying them doesn't make a lot of sense. In all likelihood, he's just an opportunistic merchant. Nothing quite as scandalous as Matsuda and Uchimura had imagined. Uh, he's hardly a saint, though, right? How could he stockpile things that people are desperate for? We're not just gonna give them back to him and let him go, are we? It doesn't feel right. Don't worry. I had already foreseen this. In my recently issued post-war temporary decree, I included restrictions on the prices of essential everyday goods. These items will ultimately reach the people at a reasonable price. If he had taken the time to read the decree, it's unlikely he ever would have ended up in this predicament. Kokumi, you think of everything! <sighs> I wish that were true. Take this alleged collusion between the Tenryo Commission and the Fatui, for example. I'm still completely stumped. <sighs> the low energy doesn't exactly help. Uh, huh? What do you mean by that? Nothing. Come on, let's take the goods back. It's not long now until the victory feast. It'll be a race against the clock to get all of this resolved before it starts. First we mend the peace, then we attend the feast! Next on the agenda... My goods! You got them back, huh? Thank you, Your Excellency. And thank you, Captain. Uh, you see, I, I told you I was innocent. 
Hmm, I'm not so sure. You could have easily planned the whole thing with the Fatui in advance. Based on the information we gathered from the Fatui camp, there's nothing to suggest he had any correspondence with them. Had it been the case, then knowing how the Fatui operates, they would have left some evidence of it. Uh, but what if... No ifs, no buts. We've recovered the goods. As agreed, this is sufficient to establish his innocence. Uh, apologies. Guess we got carried away. <laughs> ah, what did I tell you? You army numbskulls don't have a clue. All brawn and no brains coming to me with your crazy conspiracies. Lay off me next time, got it? Sir, I'm afraid you're getting ahead of yourself. You may be innocent of the accusations originally leveled at you, but hoarding essential goods is a crime under the temporary decree. You must bear the consequences. You have already admitted to being the owner of these goods, so we are obliged to respond with appropriate measures. In addition to enforcing the sale of these goods at the accepted rates, there will also be a fine. The amount of which... Wait, 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 Your Excellency, whose side are you on here? I have no business taking sides. As the Divine Priestess of Watatsumi Island, I abide by the principle of clear and consistent rewards and punishments. Just as merit must be recognized, mistakes must be penalized. You may have been proven innocent of the more serious allegations leveled at you, but this does not exempt you from bearing the consequences of your mistakes. Wait a minute, I... but... Uh... Well, don't just stand there. Take him away. Time to pay up. Your Excellency, he says all the goods belong to him, but it doesn't add up. Those of a Tenryo Commission emblem are probably his, but not the rest. Especially these ones. They're clearly for shrine use. Hmm. It seems the Fatui simply dumped all their stolen goods in one place. Leave the shrine paraphernalia to me. As for the rest, I'll leave you to sit through and try to track down the owners. I know, that's a lot to ask. Not at all, Your Excellency. We're on it. But if I may, Your Excellency, maybe there were no signs of collusion in this case. But our people know what they saw. Something is going on between the Tenryo Commission and the Fatui. I know the peace talks are coming up, so please keep an open mind. I understand your concern. I'll be sure to give it further consideration. Hmm. I'm going to take these items back to the Sangonomiya Shrine. Why don't you come along for the walk? Watatsumi Island observes different customs than the rest of Inazuma. I imagine it must all seem a little alien to you. long time since I last came to this village. There's been a lot to deal with recently. Next time you visit, I'll take you to visit Watatsumi Island's old shrine. You know, the earliest shrine on Watatsumi Island was not located in Sangonomiya. It was close to the Statue of the Seven. Back then, the people of this island recognized the Shogun's existence, despite not venerating her as the Shogunate do. But after she struck down our protector deity, the shrine was abandoned. Relations between Watatsumi Island and the Shogunate have soured ever since. Mistrust has become deep-rooted over time. I've been hoping to raise all this at the peace talks and discuss it properly. Grievances have to be let go eventually. Your Excellency, what brings you out this way on your busy schedule? Oh my, you're looking a little worse for wear. You need to take better care of yourself, okay? All of our fates depend on you. Hmm. Thanks for your concern, but 
I'm fine. Your Excellency, I beg you, heed a word of advice. After all this time fighting the Shogun's army, peace is not something that can simply be declared. If we reconcile with them, the god who once protected us will have died in vain. Come on, that's ancient history. Besides, the fighting is barely over. We should be grateful to be at peace once more. I know, I know, it's just... Ah, we should remain strong in these negotiations. We mustn't be too ready to compromise. I appreciate your concerns. I will consider the options carefully, and be sure to proceed appropriately. Wonderful. We're all counting on you, Your Excellency. Oh, Your Excellency? Well, I'll be... Fancy meeting you at a place like this. Uh, do you know, my daughter's enrolled herself in the Shrine Maiden selection process this year. If she makes it into Sangonomiya, oh, I'll be one very happy mother. You're a kind and gracious leader. She'd be in very good hands. I'm always telling my daughter that if she gets the chance to learn from Her Excellency directly, she must make the most of it. I mean, just look at Her Excellency, still so young, but so mature and intelligent. My daughter has always looked to you as a role model. Well... If she comes to Sangonomiya, I'll look out for her. Ah, Your Excellency. Boy, am I glad you're here. As you know, agricultural output has taken a pretty big hit this year. Let me bring you up to speed on the latest situation. Oh, uh, Your Excellency! Isn't this the captain of Swordfish 2? Will she be based on Watatsumi Island from now on? Your Excellency! <sighs> Please, remain calm, everyone. I'll get around to all your queries. Though, for the longer ones, I'd prefer it if you could write a report and submit it to the Shrine. Then I can respond to each one as and when I have the time. <sighs> Are you alright? <laughs> this kind of thing is water off a duck's back for you, huh? Your Excellency, here you are. There's been a situation. We're still waiting on the delivery of a whole batch of ceremonial items. I'm beginning to worry that they've been stolen. Oh, we retrieved those already. No need to worry. Really? That's fantastic. You never cease to amaze us, Your Excellency. I sorted through all the petitions received recently and placed them on your desk. Also, according to the schedule, you are just in time for your meeting today on the development of the textiles industry. That's today? Ugh. Right now? Yes, the two young ladies have arrived safely. We're just waiting for you. Hmm... I see... Ugh. I was hoping to take a walk around the island with you, but it looks like we'll have to save that for some other time. Ugh. Oh, let's rendezvous tomorrow at the entrance to Sangonomiya Shrine. Then we'll go and make preparations for the Victory Feast. Yay! The Victory Feast! Um, just to be clear, we're talking lots of delicious food, right? <laughs> That's the name of the game. There'll be some Watatsumi Island specialties, which I'm sure you'll enjoy. Great! See you tomorrow, then! Hmm... <sighs>